Value. Value. Right, let's play guess the price. So we have a hundred and it starts from 170. 169 is actually the 2.4 diesel. Okay, okay. Then the petrol? 176. 176, okay. Then this one is probably 199. It's actually a bit higher. Oh, 210. <laughs> 27. 207. 207, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I can see where it goes. La. All this active safety and ah, all these yes. things will add 10,000 to it. Mm. It's within the expectation bracket, to be honest. Um, no competition. No competition. <laughs> Zero so competition. The, the, the direct competitor in terms of product is Recon Prado, yeah. which doesn't exist. How many units have you seen? They don't really sell that many or so. But the car doesn't really move in Malaysia as much as well. I mean, you will see. La. It's not like it doesn't move to the point of... Completely not selling. In the time I've been driving it, you I don't notice, yeah, but you don't notice it so much. Yeah, not like in Thailand where, you know, every other street has one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not a Camry replacement car. Yeah, yeah. Even Camry Thailand. is also not selling. <laughs> How many have you seen? Yeah, I think I see more S-classes than I see Camry. I can't fault it for value, lah. 200,000 ringgit, 207,000 ringgit with all these new gadgets. Yeah. You know, honestly, I think it is priced okay because, one, you have no competition. Right. And your closest competition is yourself in the grey market. The other thing that I liked was, the image of the Fortuner in Malaysia, it has authority. Okay. Because JPJ used this car. Who is it? I think the image and um, the utility is also there. Mm -hmm. Because after like driving it on the worst flood of, mm -hmm. in Malaysia, the decade, of the yeah. decade, I mean, I, I was fortunate enough to not be affected by it. Yeah. I think this kind of car is... It's actually, what, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense, more sense than X70 and all that. You know, I saw S70 flooded. Flooded? Man. You will get yeah. flooded. Yeah. I've seen CRV stuck in the in the floods. Oh. For mild flood, nothing better than this kind of yeah. car. Yeah, the waiting that is one all the way to your door. Mm. And if you are not like really hardcore contractor carrying ladder case, ladder staircases and whatnot, uh, but you you're treating it as a family car and work car, I think this is a good choice for two hundred thousand. You know, yeah. it does a lot of things that Camry cannot do. Mm. You know, give you the roughness and confidence that you don't have. Give you that utilitarian capability that yeah i mean we're complaining about the boot but the reality is this kind of wagon shape is still more utilitarian than even a camry mm. so you really have to ask yourself you know it, its competitor is really actually the alphas and the prados mm. because i mean a person who buy this maybe are thinking okay i'm going to use this as a work car primary car whatnot two hundred thousand ringgit in that pricing you can get a recon alpha about four years old three years old mm. lower spec and I, I'm in that market because I am... You are that person. I am an, I'm <laughs> actually that person because, okay, Alpha gives me more in terms of luxury, space, you know, appointment, comfort, space, actual space that you can treat it like a van. Mm. I use my Alpha now as a van, literally. Um, but it doesn't have that toughness, which this car has. Mm. So if you, if you often places that are like construction side and rough roads and, you know, Actually, this might be a better choice, especially if your so-called requirement to carry seven person or eight person is not your primary requirement. Yeah. If, if let's say once in a while you have to transport your workers uh, back, then okay. Okay, uh, but of course, if your primary is six person, seven person, then maybe not. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Alpha, st still nothing compares to an Alpha in doing that job. But yeah. but this one, once in a while, like, if you're talking about the rear seats, yeah. uh, the third row. I had the experience of transporting extreme age people, mm. uh, 80 plus mm. and less than 10 years old. And I can say this is the wrong car for them. It's not, it's not yeah, great. Uh. It's not use it as an emergency, yes. Mm. But you don't use it as a primary use. You just go back and get an MPV. So consider Staria or Recon Alpha, you know, you can't go wrong with these cars. Yeah. Especially Alpha, the resale value is there. Yeah, that, if you, if, yeah, if you frequent rough places, this one, okay. This one, it, 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 because Toyota, yes, it's, you know, it's tough. Its legs are tough, but tougher than say a Honda but the reality is if you're really going to go off-road and you know, potholes and whatnot an Alpha will judder man mm. it's, it's chassis is not meant to do that kind of thing so this is this, this has its niche la. I can understand its niche la. yeah and mm. I think if I was a Toyota engineer and my boss said just do the best you can mm. with this equipment mm. this basic stuff mm. this is literally the best you can do with the Fortune I have to agree because I mean you, we are talking about a real from the mud <laughs> from the bottom of yeah. the mud commercial vehicle bones jeans mm. vehicle hilux you yeah. know and then they dress it up to this which is like amicable and 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 nice and i, I use the energy that you brought up last time yeah let's say hilux is a is a stone hammer yeah it's a tool right? a basic yeah. tool <laughs> yeah which you shouldn't use for yeah. day to day <laughs> right mm. you take i think the first gen fortuner they take the hammer they sharpen the top into an axe turn it into a stone axe yeah 
So it's a stone axe. Yeah, uh, it can it can really crush things. Yeah, but yeah. it came from a hammer. It came you know? from a hammer. Yeah. This one, they change they wrap they wrap the handle nicely in, in leather. Thick leather. <laughs> and polish the surface they of the axe until exactly. it's a mirror surface. Yeah, and then people see it, they're like, wow, that's a nice it looks axe. Expensive. That's a nice expensive axe. Yeah. But the wielder knows that the handle it's still a stone axe. The middle handle <laughs> there is still the leather frame. <laughs> it's still a stone axe, yeah. but a nice looking stone axe yeah. that feels expensive, and you can hang it up on your wall and not feel like. It feels like an art piece. Yeah. If people are observing you, yeah. it looks good. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. when you're in it, you will know that it has some roughness to it. But you know it because you're not paying the same kind of price. Yeah. I have to say, in that sense, it's value for money. Yes, yeah. it has sh- shitty jeans. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's commercial jeans. Yeah. But I think Toyota did as best they could to dress it up, but also at the same time to make it competent and amicable on the road you know mm. drives like a good SUV does on the road yeah. and I think that is the hardest part and I think I applaud that car for this car for doing that mm. and uh, for that value I would say it's a very close to 4 but for me it's a 3.8 it's very good value mm. yeah I think value maybe this particular variant closer to 3.8 3. but 8. because they have the other variants mm. and they have no competition yeah. value is Higher, whatever, four point one. <laughs> because you got nothing to compare. Yeah, you you do have competition in in recon lah. Ah, in recon. Uh, okay, fine. Then maybe touching four. Yeah, touching four. Because because if, if you are coming out with a two hundred and ten thousand ringgit and you go and look at an Alpha, an Alpha will really blow you away. Hmm. Not only from a utilitarian point of view, but from a luxurious and appointment point of view. Yeah. You know? But I can see if you are in the market for the two point four mm. at one seventy k, it'll make a lot of sense. Mm. Yeah. If you really you cannot stretch. Huh? Mm. And if you're comparing to a Prado, I mean, a similarly spec Prado will cost you easily three hundred thousand. Mm. So uh, it's a hundred thousand difference. That's thirty thirty over percent, forty mm. percent difference. So it's no competition. You can get one at around two hundred and ten, mm. but they you are making significant sacrifice in drivetrain and also age. Mm. And equipment as well. And also so. equipment also. Go and check it out. But to be honest, in terms of drivetrain and performance, it's eighty five percent a Prado. Mm. Yeah, and in fact, it's eighty-five the percent the Prado that people want, which is the two point eight turbo, which is that engine right here. Yeah. So for that, I would say this car is a three point eight man for two hundred and seven thousand. Yeah. Auto files recommend. Signing out. Signing out.